Access. What up, guys? Music Access with me, Aaron of New East. On the second hour of Music Access for today, we have New East Beko and Scarf's Tasha joining me in the studio. This week's topic is, if I got married in the animal kingdom, I would marry blank animal because blank. Just make sure to write Animal Kingdom on the title of your message and shoot your messages on our message board. And you can send us your messages like before, or you can send us messages according to what your friends and family look like when they eat. We look forward to hearing from you guys. And just click www.arirangradio.com slash music access and leave us a message on our MA message board. And to tune into MA, you can of course download the Arirang application on your smartphones or listen on your computers at www.arirangradio.com slash music access. We are also on terrestrial DMB and we have FM stations on Jeju Island. They are 88.7 in Jeju, 88.1 in Sogipu, and 101.9 in Taejong. You can also download TuneIn through Google Play or the App Store. Alrighty guys, after a song, we'll come back with New East Betco and Scarf's Tasha for Animal Kingdom. Here is What is Love by Ali featuring Loco. <laughs> well, listen up guys. <laughs> Can you hear the music announcing the start of Animal Kingdom on Music Access? If you've been dozing off like a sloth, if you've been holding cookies like a chipmunk, or if you've been playing around like puppies, pay attention! It's time for us to become animals! <laughs> Let's shout it out together! Animal Kingdom! <laughs> wow. Hello, Beko and Tasha. Hi, Aaron. Hi. Welcome back to the studio. <laughs> yeah. And can you guys say hello to our MA family? Hello, Music Excess family. I missed you guys. Hello, <laughs> I'm Beko. Hello, I'm Beko. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. So how was your week, Tasha? Well, nothing much. Nothing it's much? It's all about practice, mm. rest, Re practice, rest. Mm. Mm hmm Mm, yeah. ah, ah, right. So he said we went to Guam. We actually came back today morning. Oh. <laughs> We're a little sleepy, guys. We're a little tired. Guam. Uh, but How Guam. is it? Guam. Super beautiful? Amazing. Oh. It was amazing. <laughs> like the scenery is beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. But anyways, wow. you know, um, what was the most memorable from the trip, Beko? Beko, what was the most memorable from the trip, Beko? What was the most Jet ski touch on you. So yesterday, jet you know, ski. we went jet skiing and we were like banana boats and stuff. It was, oh, it was a lot of fun. We went snorkeling and stuff. It was really wow. fun. And we actually, guys, we have a camera open. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi we guys. have a camera open right now. Yes. Have you been to Guam before, Tasha? No, actually. It's my first time hearing it. Really? Like Guam. Is it an island or something like that? It's an island, kind of like, kind of like Hawaii. Mm. It's part of the States. Mm. I didn't even know it was part of the states actually, <laughs> and I'm know? from the I'm from the states. I thought it was like part of like Africa or something for like the oh, longest uh -huh. time. I didn't know Guam was a part of the states. Mm, uh, yes, I'm a little dumb and guys, but I apologize. But you know, Tasha, how long has it been since you were home in Singapore? Well, I went back like during March. March. Mm -hmm. Wow. For some personal, you know, personal yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you go back home often? Um, not that often, I would say. Not that often. Just maybe for, you know, important stuff and events. And events and all stuff that. like mm -hmm. that. Lucky, lucky you. Mm -hmm. Well, is there something that you always do when you go back home? I always do? Family gatherings. Family gatherings. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice, nice, yeah. nice. That, that sounds like a lot of fun, actually, because when I go home in LA, I actually, so, you know, we don't have family mm -hmm. gatherings a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, when we, uh, Beko just... Yes, yes! <laughs> He's coughing on air, guys. Oh, sorry! <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Beko, has, Beko has the case of the summer cold, guys. 좀, 좀 많이 아프죠, 지금. 네, 어, 지금 감기 걸려가지고 mm. 늘 고생하고 right 있어요. Yes. Uh, but you know, um... So what do you do when you go what back? What do I do? Mm -hmm. I just hang out with my friends and family. But, just you know, friends. Mm -hmm. I've been to a few family gatherings. I have a lot of family in Georgia, Atlanta, mm -hmm. and I have a lot of family in Hawaii. So if you have family gatherings, you go there. Mm -hmm. Uh, 백호는 네. 집에 가면 네. 꼭 이거 한다. 있, 있나요? 
저는 집에 가면은 어 그러니까 저는 집에 가면은 왜집밥 되게 오랜만에 먹고 싶잖아요. 집밥. 네. 네. 음. 그런데 꼭저 왔다고 엄마가 맛있는 거 먹여 주겠다고 음. 외식을 시켜 주고. 음. 그게 좀 그래요. 왜냐면 나는 집밥을 먹고 싶은데 엄마는 다른 거 외식 다른 거. 그러니까 Okay. Yeah. So you know, when he goes home, he says he wants to eat his house food, mm-hmm. his mom's cooking. But mm-hmm. his mom's mm-hmm. like, "Oh, since you're coming, I'm gonna buy you something good." Right. And she buys it. She doesn't cook the house food for him, so mm-hmm. he does. It's a little, uh, so so for him. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a question that came in for Beko, so oh. let me read it for you. Mm. Evelyn from Singapore wrote, "Hi, Beko. I heard that recently you're working hard on your diet. Mm-hmm. So what are you eating these days? And is it hard for you to resist the nice foods?" Mm-hmm. Neil, Beko, how is your diet going? 다이어트는 어... 잘 하고 있나요? 뭐 잘은 아닌데 뭐. <웃음> it's just, it's just, uh, not really, but. 네, 조금 하고 있어요. He's he is, he is dieting a little bit, a little bit. Mm. So what's the most difficult? 제일 힘든 건 뭐예요? 어, 잘하는 게 제일 힘들죠. So he says, you know, doing, going good on his diet <웃음> mm-hmm. is the hardest yeah. thing for him. Mm-hmm. So you don't look like you need to diet, Tasha, but do you? Yeah. Really? Oh. Well, I always give in to cravings, in fact. Really? But I just actually do pick my food wisely. Oh, so you like, eat, but you eat healthy. Yeah, like you know, home your bread over white bread. Yeah, I think water over you know stuff. I think that's the best way to diet is to you know be careful of the stuff that you eat. Right, you have to you choose. You can wisely. you can eat a lot. Just make mm. sure it's good. Right. Foods. Right, right. Yeah. So, Beko, mm? diet fighting. 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 Thank we you. Wish, we wish fighting. Beko the best of luck. <la�> 우리 패밀리들 많이 걱정 했거든요. 저를요? 자꾸 다이어트 한다고. 아. 지난 주부터 음. 계속 네. 상이 올라왔거든요. 아 그래요? So I was telling him our family members are really worried about Beko for like the past few weeks. 괜찮아요? He says it's okay. 네. <웃음> so, okay. 열심히 안 하고 있어요. <웃음> so he says he's not he's not dieting really hard. So he says it's fine. It's funny guys. Anyways, let's move on to our corner now. This week's topic is if I got married in the animal kingdom. I would marry Blink Animal because Blink. Mm-hmm. And since you're in the Animal Kingdom, the bride and groom, as well as all the guests, would be animals as well, right? So this is kind of like a scene from an animated film. I look forward to hearing back from your creative and res- imaginative responses, okay? Just make sure to write Animal Kingdom on the title and shoot your messages on our message board. For example, I want to marry the king of the animals, a lion. My hus- husband will be able to protect me wherever I am. From any other animal, I always hear that I look like a cute and small dinosaur. <sighs> and at oh. the end of the corner, <laughs> Beko, Tasha, and I will each choose a story that we like best, and we'll pose like that animal and send a picture to the person who wrote the message. And we'll introduce your messages in just a bit. But before that, there's a mini corner and corner. Am I right? It is Tiger English. English. All right, guys, Tiger English oh. to sum it up in one sentence is Beko can speak English too. Mm. So all the questions and answers on Tiger English are from words and expressions that I use 100% in real life. Life. So mm-hmm. what kind of situation will Beko face today? Uh-huh. And what should he say? Uh-huh. Guys, here is the situation. Beko gets in an elevator with the person that he doesn't know. But the other person leaves behind a strange smell as he gets off the elevator. Beko is flustered as a beautiful young lady gets on the next floor. <laughs> a second passes and she is shocked by the weird smell. Yuck! What's this smell? I'm gonna troll up. She oh. holds her nose and shoots Beko a menacing glance. Beko's innocent! What should he say to her? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 꼭 이런 사람들 있죠 엘리베이터에 그러니까, 좀, 좀 네. 이렇게 방귀 끼는 거 하고 네. 그런 사람들 꼭 있죠. <웃음> so there's always that one person that guide like the farts in the elevator and guys uh-huh. is disgusting. But 백호는 네. 이런 상황에서 뭐라고 얘기할 것 같아요. 당당. So what would you say in this situation? <웃음> what are you doing now? <웃음> what are you doing 그러니까? now? 지금 뭐예요? <웃음> 어나 나도 약간 똑같이 어. 뭐 하는 어. 거냐고 지금. 아 내가 안낀 척하고 그러니까 왜 방귀 꼈냐. Oh, so you know, he, he's saying, you know, like, um, he would react the same as a girl, like, look mm-hmm. at her, like, what? what? Well, what's this? Uh, well, well, why did you, like, make the smell, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, all right, all right. And um, it might be a little hard in English, so you can say it in Korean. 한국어로 한번 얘기해주세요. 어떻게 반응할지. 어떤 놈이 방구 끼고 나갔냐. 혼잣말? Who farted and left the elevator? 혼잣말? Speaking to yourself, okay. Oh, man. Well, we actually had an experience like this, actually, a few weeks ago. We were in Japan. Really? 
We had all the staff members and all of our members in the elevator. Big mm-hmm. elevator, and someone farted. It was oh. disgusting. Do you remember? Ah, 일본에 일본의 엘리베이터 안에 진짜 죽는 줄 알았어요, 진짜 와. 정말 누군지 알고 싶어요. 아직도. 제가 I don't want to say. 제가 말 안해요. 맛이 누구예요? We we had a bad experience in Japan in the elevator, guys. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Tasha, mm. if you were in the elevator, would you believe Becco saying it wasn't him? Like it wasn't me. What are you doing? Like what would you say to him? No, I think I wouldn't believe. Really? I mean, I think most people actually believe what they see than what they hear. Right, right, right. So I mean, okay. Yeah. He's he's the only one in the elevator, right? Mm, yeah. So, yeah, I think Tasha, I would I would think it's him. Hmm. Tasha got elevator에 탄 여자라면. 네. Hmm. 안 믿는 듯. 백. 아 그러면은 정말 진심으로 울면서. Then he'll he'll cry. 진짜 아니라고. He'll he'll like seriously cry and say it's not him for real. All right, so Becco, can 네? you tell us one more time? 영어로 한 번에 얘기해 주세요. 뭐였더라? What are you doing? 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 Tasha, mm, what do you think? I, I, you don't know. Mm. Mm. What do you think? All right, guys. So <laughs> we're gonna come out with the results right now. So Tasha, whisper Mary now. What do you think? He's okay. Oh, we got the answer for today, guys. Tasha's gonna give the answer, and today, Tiger English result is. Oh. <laughs> uh, I apologize, guys. <laughs> I decided the thing. Oh, don't say you chill like that, yeah? Miane, so he says we're gonna head too hard. Uh, but Becco got a thing today, so he did not pass. Thing. So, what would you say in this situation, Tasha, if you were a person? I think I wouldn't say anything. You wouldn't say anything? Right. Mm. Tasha는 이런 상황에서 yeah. 아무 말안 한대요. 근데 말하면 되게 이상하잖아요. So he says oh, it's no, weird if you no. say something in this situation. Right. Isn't it weird if you start yeah. speaking up first, like? 난 나라고 말할 나나 아니라고 말할 것 같아. So oh. Becco says, you know, if it wasn't me, like yeah. I would say it's not me. Mm. So alright, guys. Well, Becco failed today's Tiger English. Right, Thank guys. you. So the topic for today's Animal Kingdom is if I got married in the Animal Kingdom, I would marry Blank Animal because Blank. Mm-hmm. And since you're in Animal Kingdom, the bride and groom as well the guests would all be animals. So this is like a scene from an animated film, and I look forward to hearing back from your creative and imaginative responses. Just make sure to write Animal Kingdom on the title and shoot your messages on our message board. Alright guys, I think it's time for a song break before we come back with more of Animal Kingdom. Here is Love Virus by Scar. Alrighty, guys, we just came back from listening to Love Virus by Scoff. <laughs> Hold your bottom. Uh. My Australian accent. <laughs> I'm Aaron of New East. You're listening to Music Access. And you're listening to our Monday corner, Animal Kingdom, with New East Becco and Scoff's Tasha. Alright, guys. So we got a few messages from our listeners right now. So let me read a few of them real quick. Melissa from Australia. Cheers, mate. I <laughs> wrote. Uh, Beko, 네? see? Oh no, it's not me. It's you. <laughs> 아, 이렇게 하라고 타이거 잉글리쉬 그 상황에서 Oh no? It's oh, not no. me, 나 아니다. It's not me. It's you, 너다. Oh, it's you. 어. 아. 음, 나 아니야, 너야. 여자가. It's not me. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> oh, 그렇지, 그렇지. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Alright, okay. nice, alright. Mm. And then Carla Alejandra Rojasi from Chile wrote, I love his English. He's so cute. 너무 좋다고, 너무 귀엽다고. Thank you. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Carla, thank you very much for the message. All right, guys. So it's time to see what our family members wrote for today's uh, topics oh. topic. So let's get straight into it. And Becco, do you want to read the name? And then we will read. Or oh, do you have a paper with you? Mm. Or no? Yes. Okay. Becco, read the name, and then I'll go first, and then Tasha okay. go second. Go ahead, Becco. Read the name. Eva. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Eva. Mm-hmm. Eva from. Canada. Okay. Mm. Everyone, I want to marry a cheetah. I'm really yeah. slow, so my nickname is Turtle. I want to marry someone really fast, someone that's much faster than me. What do you guys think? Do turtles and cheetahs get along? Mm. 네, 안 어울려요. 
네 <웃음> 왠지 그 치타가 먹을, 먹을 것 같아요. 것 같죠. 네, 아니요 거북이. 거북이 딱딱해서 못 먹을 걸요. 아, 아~ 그렇죠. <웃음> so we're like we feel like the t- cheetah is gonna eat the turtle, but he says no. The turtle has a hard shell, so maybe right. not. Mm. But I don't know. They, they don't really go to what. I go don't together think they go. <laughs> but thank you, Eva, for the message. Thank you for tuning <laughs> really in. Really cute. Next, Amy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. from Singapore. Okay. Mm. I want to marry an elephant. Elephants are herbivores, right? People say I remind them of a rabbit, but I wouldn't want my husband to think me think of me as food. <laughs> mm. So the only reason she wants to marry an elephant is because elephants are herbivores, herbivores. Mm. and she doesn't want her husband to eat her. <laughs> okay. Okay. Kukirinen. Choshik Tengul. Alright, da alright. Onto Tengul. Choshik. Choshik. Alright. Alright, Amy. Thank you for the message. Thank you for tuning into Animal Kingdom. Next, Laura from US. Laura wrote, "I want to marry an eagle that has excellent vision. I have pretty bad vision, so I want my husband to at least be able to see well." But I've been told that I look like a fish, so I guess that wouldn't make the most ideal couple, right? Hehe. <laughs> mm. Fish and an eagle. Fish and an eagle. 저 <laughs> 저도 시각 되게 좋은데. Becca has very good eyesight. 네. 음. 모조 시각. So he's twenty, 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 twenty in both eyes. Mm. Uh, what's your eyesight, Tasha? I don't know, but I don't wear like I don't need lenses or really. Mm-hmm. I need lens. I'm oh, negative really? four. Is it really bad? Negative it's really bad. If I don't oh. have my lenses or glasses, I can't see anything. Oh. I'm negative four, negative four in both eyes, guys. Anyways, <laughs> thank you, Laura, for the message. And yes, an eagle and a fish would not make a good couple <laughs> because eagles eat fish. 독수리랑 네 물고기는 안 어울리죠. 그죠. 왜냐면 만날 수 없잖아. 독수리가 물고기 먹죠. Yes. Anyways, guys, let's move on. Next. Suzan mm-hmm. from Malaysia. Okay. Mm. She wrote, I want to marry a puppy. I like cute younger guys. I heard that I look like a cat. So I guess that we would make the perfect couple, right? Mm. Cat and a dog. Oh, oh, puppy and a cat. Mm. And she likes cute younger guys. Cute mm. I think that's not bad. <laughs> She's kind of cougar. Anyways, mm. <laughs> thank you, Susan, for the message. And Beko says he likes it, so... Mm-hmm. There's your, there's your cute little puppy right here. The cute Kangaji at the Namja. Here he is. All right, guys. Next. Come on, read it. Courtney from the U.S. Mm-hmm. Mm. Go ahead. Oh, is it me? Is it's it me? You. Mm. Is it me? Oh, it's me. All right. Mm-hmm. I would marry a wolf because they are loyal and family oriented and mates for life. Mm. Mm. Wolf. Nanik tego naminyo. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Apologize for that. Thank you, Courtney, for the message. And next, Tanika yeah. from Philippines. Okay. Philippines. I want to marry king of the jungle, lion. So I will be the queen of the jungle. <laughs> wow. That's cool. cool. She will be the queen. She will be the queen. Yoan. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm. yeah. It's a good, good, good choice. Good choice. Mm. Next, Jackie from Germany. Jackie from Germany wrote, I never thought about this, but I would marry a dog because I like dogs so much. Or a dolphin because I love the wide ocean so much, and I can find out more about the ocean and just stay in the water forever. Mm. Okay, Beko, did you understand this? Do you know what a dolphin is? <laughs> dolphin. Ah! A dolphin dolgore. is... Dolgore, yes! Oh, dolgore. wow! A dolphin, yes, yes. Dolgore, yes. Dolphin. He would, so, she would want to marry a dog. Mm-hmm. Dog? Dog, 강아지. 강아지랑 돌핀이랑 음. 결혼을 한다고요? 둘 중에 Hi. 하나 뭐? 둘 중에. 아, 둘 중에 하나? 네, 음. 상관없대요. 돌핀. 음. 음. Okay, dolphin. That's the first time I've ever heard about that. Thank you, Jackie, for the message. Interesting, interesting. Next. Minshan from Taiwan. Taiwan. Mm. Taiwan. I want to marry a dog if I got married in the animal kingdom. Because dogs are my favorite animals. And they're very loyal. So I think the dog should not be a bother to bring around and will be a caring husband. Mm, mm. Loyal. What is loyal? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a good reason. Right. To marry a dog. Thank you, Minsha, for the message. And last we have Daniel. Yeah. From Australia. Uh-huh. Australia. And Danielle wrote, 
if I can marry, oh, sorry guys, I was like in the country American <laughs> accent. If I can marry any, any animal, I'd marry a white tiger because they're so Ooh. cute, cuddly, and their coloring is really beautiful, and they are really protective. Nah. Is it a hint for Beko? It might be a hint for Beko, yeah. Oh. Oh. I love you. Oh, all right, Danielle, those are good reasons, I guess. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> 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 all right, guys, thank you so much for your messages. It means Yay. a lot to us. And yes, guys, who do you think had the best message today? We'll mm. talk about it as we listen to a song, and we'll come back with the results. And let's listen to another song. Beko requested Be some by Soyu oh. and Tongigo. We just came back from listening to some by Soyu and Tongigo, and mm. you're listening to Music Access with me, Aaron of New East. And you're listening to our Monday Corner, Animal Kingdom with Nui Speko and Scarf's Tasha. Tasha. So we took a look at the messages sent in to us by our listeners. And we all have to choose one. So mm -hmm. Tasha, who will you pick for today? I'm going to pick um, Danica from the Philippines. Okay, mm. and that was the lion. Lion. Okay, mm -hmm. Beko. I'm going to pick... Um, <laughs> Courtney? Courtney. Courtney. Courtney from U.S. Okay, and that was the wolf, the mm. bear. And I will choose Laura from the U.S. And that was the eagle, 저는 독수리. So the animals, like we just said, were an eagle, a wolf, and a lion. Mm. So we'll pose like these animals and send the picture to the person who wrote the messages in. Yep. And Beko, can you read this for you, for us? This is your lion. 네. <laughs> 지금 하면 될까요? Yes, mm. right now. <laughs> 다음 주에는 나와 내 가족 그리고 친구 등등 주변 사람들의 모습을 동물에 비유해서 사연 보내주시면 저희 세 명이 재미있게 소개를 해드리겠습니다. Mm. 특히 어떤 모습이 닮은 것 같은지 구체적으로 보내주시면 더 좋아요. Mm. <웃음> and he said, next week send us your friends, family, classmates, bird colleagues who look like animals. Tell us which feature makes them look like which animal. Remember, be specific. Mm. Yes, all right. Well, guys, it's almost time for us to wrap things up already. Did you have fun today? Fun today. No, did you have fun today? Jimmy says, so. <laughs> Having fun. Yes. You, you had fun? Fun. I yeah. had fun. I have fun. All right, Beko, have fun. Mm. What about you, Tasha? Well, I'm starting <laughs> to love the um, Tiger English a lot. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really pretty fun. fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, I'm very curious, actually. What? 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 Pinim, do we have the lie detector? <laughs> the lie detector oh, no. test. Oh, that, no. <laughs> that's, well, 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 well. that's really painful, right? It's really painful. Mm. Uh, I've that, never tried it before. It'd be really fun to try it out. Maybe, oh, maybe, God. maybe later, guys. Maybe you'll get. Maybe you guys will see us try the lie detector later no. on, guys. All right, guys. So, what are you gonna do for the rest of the week, Tasha? Mm, I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Rest up, practice a little bit. But could you you work well? Yeah. So the answer is practice. Yeah. Practice. 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 <laughs> yeah, <laughs> practice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming in and sending Becco and Tasha out. Here is Love Never Felt So Good by Michael Jackson. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. What up, guys? We just came back from listening to Love Never Felt So Good by Michael Jackson. And it is now time to reveal the answer for Double A Music Quiz from the first hour. And what was the answer? Our listeners are like, Aaron, what's the answer? What's the answer? All right, guys, the answer for today was Davichi, Davichi. And a lot of people got the answer right. And we picked just one lucky winner. Our lucky winner for today is Karina Risky from Indonesia. Once again, congrats to Karina Risky from Indonesia. And please send us an email at musicaccess at arirang.co.kr with your name, phone number, address, and email address. Once again, that is musicaccess at arirang.co.kr with your name, phone number, address, and email address. And we will be sending you our AA Music Quiz present, Michael Jackson's album, Escape, provided to us by Sony Music. Once again, congrats to Karina Risky from Indonesia. All right, it's time for more message time. Next, we have John Akar from Canada. And John Akar wrote, I saw your shirtless picture, hee <laughs> hee. Did you fall into the water? Also, what's in your bag? Your shirt? Hello, John Akar from Canada. Yes, I uploaded a shirtless picture of myself 
uh, yesterday, I believe, in Guam. Uh, when we went to the beach. And, yes, I went into the water and hung out, you know, um, with my little fish buddies, like Nemo and stuff. Dory, we hang out with them. We hung out with them, but, um, yes, what was in my bag? My bag, uh, I had my towel. Actually, my towel was on my shoulder. We had, um, I had my clothes in my bag. I think that was what was in my bag. And sunscreen, I'm not sure. Uh, but yes, John McCall, thank you for the message. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have an awesome day. Next, we have Danielle from Australia, and Danielle wrote, Hello, Aaron. The weather in Melbourne is very cold right now, and when I woke up today, I looked outside the window and saw frost covering the grass, and I hate cold weather. Also today, it is a public holiday in Australia, so my mom and I went to the city and did some shopping, and she bought me a bunch of K-pop albums. Hello, Danielle from Australia, from Melbourne. Yes, I realize, you know, I know in um, Australia it is winter right now, uh, opposite of Korea. Uh, definitely, you know, stay warm in the cold weather. weather. You, you don't want to catch a cold. And yes, it's a public day in Australia, and your mom and uh, you went to buy a bunch of K-pop albums. Good for you, Danielle. I hope you had a good time with your mom. Good bonding time, mother-daughter time. And I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you for tuning in. Next, we have Wendy Torres from the U.S. And Wendy Torres wrote, uh, I'm happy summer is here. Are you happy? I hope you are. Opa, can you please tell JR happy birthday? Uh, he is the best, and he is uh, the leader of New East, all right? And I love him a lot. Thank you, Opa. I hope you have a good rest. New East fighting. I love you all. Hello, Wendy Torres from the USA. Yes, summer is here, and I'm happy. Thank you for asking. And yes, I will pass on your happy belated birthday messages on to JR. Thank you for the message, Wendy. I hope you have a good day today, and thank you for tuning in. Next, we have Angel from the United Kingdom, the UK. And Angel wrote, Hi, Aaron. I hope you're having a good day, and you don't feel too exhausted from your flight today. I just want to say that your bubble tea addiction made me giggle because I'm exactly the same. I can't stay away. What is your favorite flavor? Mine is either lychee or strawberry or passion fruit. And do the other members like it too or are you alone in your bubble tea love? Hope you have a great afternoon from Angel. Hello Angel from the UK. Yes, I'm having a good day. I'm a little tired because of my flight uh, in the morning. Oh, uh, but yes, my bubble tea addiction. Um, I actually had a bubble tea on the way here today. Interesting fact. Uh, my favorite flavor right now is probably just like milk tea. I also like strawberry. Strawberry is good too. Uh, and my other members are actually um, in on the addiction as well. We all love bubble tea. Uh, but yes, Angel, I hope you have a good day. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you very much for the message. Next, we have Aaron Johnson from the U.S., and Aaron Johnson wrote, How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. I wanted you to wish, or I wanted to wish you luck for your comeback and also for your 14-day project. All of you guys are doing well. I know you can complete them all. Telling it to all of you, your friend, Crimson Rose. Hello, Crimson Rose. Uh, Aaron, jo Aaron Johnson from the U.S. We're doing all right. Thank you for asking. And thank you for your good luck wishes. It means a lot to me and my members. <laughs> Tongue tied. And I hope you have an amazing day, Aaron. Thank you for tuning in. Shout outs on our message board. What up to C Connie V from Chile? DDD0030309 uh, from Malaysia. Bangne Ruby from Malaysia. Andy Pandy84 from Australia. Uh, Carly Carly from Chile. Hoshino Erna from Croatia. Solo0106 from Mongolia, Evelyn Pim from Singapore, New East OT5 from Germany, K-Pop is for Life from Canada, Iris20 from Mexico, and Chubi718628 from Taiwan. Thank you guys for the messages and thank you for tuning in today. And let's listen to two songs before we move on with more. Allery Roxy from Singapore requested, Huh? by 4 Minute. And Jackie from Germany requested Stay With Me by Taeyang featuring G-Dragon. What up guys? It is already time to say goodbye, but before we say goodbye, one more message. Alina from Costa Rica wrote, Hi, my name is Alina. I'm listening from Costa Rica. And Aaron, greetings from Costa Rica. Hello Alina, I think this is the first time I've seen your name on our message board. 
Uh, today it is the end of our show, but I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in, and of course, thank you very much for the love, Lena. And leave us a message tomorrow as well, and I will read it out. Alright guys, it is already time for us to say goodbye like I just said. Our last song for today is The Reason by Hoobastink. And same time, same place tomorrow, guys. I will see all of you there. Peace.